Right, we have Cloud Agent SDK now. So if you want to build custom AI agents with fine grained control, we need to use Cloud Agent SDK. All that it is is the renaming of Cloud Code SDK to Cloud Agent SDK. And it is available in multiple forms. For example, it, there's a TypeScript SDK, Python SDK, and also streaming with a single mode. But we will be focusing on the Python SDK in this video. So why do we need the Cloud Agent SDK? So we need it if we want to build on top of the agent harness that powers Cloud Code. So if you don't just want to use Cloud Code, but if you want to have fine grain control and you want to build on top of the agent harness, then you need to use Cloud Agent SDK. For example, as a user who simply just invokes Cloud Code, we can now inject some tools or some MCP servers that are custom built and much, that have much more fine grain control into this user interaction using the Cloud Agent SDK. So let's look into what all we can achieve. In order to achieve that level of control, Cloud Agent SDK provides us with these functions, which are query tools and hooks. And it also provides us few classes, the main ones being the Cloud SDK client and Cloud Agent options. So in this video, let's look into all of these and see how we can go about quickly coding using all of this so that by the end of the video, you will know exactly how we can quickly come up with a custom fine-grained control over an agent cloud code. So let's get started. So under agent SDK, there's TypeScript SDK option available and also the Python SDK option available. We are going to stick with the Python SDK throughout this tutorial. So to get started, we need to first do pip install cloud agent SDK. So let's do that. So let me start by creating a directory called Cloud Agent SDK Demo, within which we're going to write all of our code. Once we have done that, I'm going to create a virtual environment as well. So I'm going to create a virtual environment called Agent SDK, and I'm going to use Python 3.12. I'm going to say yes. So it has now created the virtual environment. I'm just going to go ahead and activate that. Now that the virtual environment is sorted, we, let's run the pip install command, pip install cloud agent SDK. So it has successfully installed everything. So at this point in time, we need to make sure we have the Anthropic API key. So if we visit console.anthropic.com and go to API keys, we can see that we can create an API key. I've already got one. If you haven't got one, click on create new key and you can choose the default option and give a name for your key and then click on add. So that will give you your API key. Once you have it, you need to set it in the terminal. Just say export Anthropic API key and provide the API key here. So once I have set the API key, Anthropic API key in the terminal, I just launched a Jupyter notebook in order to run this demo. So this is the notebook I've got here. The main things that we need to know when it comes to Cloud Code SDK is that of query, Cloud Agent Options, Cloud SDK Client, Tools and Hooks. So let's go through each one of them one by one. So let's start with Query. So with Query, it's as simple as, you know, importing Query from Cloud Agent SDK and then straight away passing the prompt. Let's say your prompt is Hello Cloud. You get a list of message as the response. So if we iterate through the message and if you look for the assistant message, that is what gives you the actual response from the model. It says, hello, how can I help you today? Whether you need assistance with coding, file management, debugging, or anything else, I'm here to help. So that's a simple query and straight away, you can interact with Cloud Code there. And it just doesn't stop there. We can also pass some options to the query. That's where the Cloud Agent Options comes into play. We have to import Cloud Agent Options. For example, we can pass the system prompt and say that you are a helpful assistant. And we pass the options as one of the parameters to the query and we get the response message back. Next comes tools. Tools are things that are available readily for the agents for them to use and they are available at their disposal. Let's look at the example of a calculator tool and let's see how we can get the tool integrated. We need to post the tool as a MCP server in order to integrate it with Cloud Code. So how do we do that? We first import the tool from Cloud Agent SDK and we need to write an async function that takes the input arguments like this. In this case, it's A and B because it's a add tool. And we need to decorate it with the tool because we need to have a way to say that this is going to be a custom tool. 
and look at what we return from that it basically we return a content of type text and the text is going to be sum of the arguments that we pass which is argument of a plus argument of b similarly for a multiply tool we need to decorate it with tool and we need to pass the input parameters like this which is going to be float and at the output we say product and we do uh, arg of a times arg of b so once we define several tools like this we need to provide them to cloud code in order to do that we need to make use of the create sdk mcp server function so we need to give a name for that and we need to give a version for the mcp server and we need to provide a list of tools here we just pass the decorated functions which in our case is add and multiply and we have created a calculator mcp server so this will be a custom mcp server and this will be different from how you normally create an invoke an external mcp server once we have the mcp server created this way in the cloud agent options we need to pass a dictionary which has got the exact server that we just created and of course for the tools we need to say it's going to be the add and multiply tool and when we invoke the query we need to pass these options so let's run this and see what happens we can see that we got the system message and the assistant message says that it's got the content block which is three times two is six and it's using the model cloud sonnet 4.5 and the result is success and we're getting all the details or metadata of the results so whatever we saw until now for example the query or the tool or the create sdk mcp server these are all functions but there are also a few classes that are available for example class cloud sdk client is one of the classes and the main reason we have classes available is to maintain a conversation session across multiple exchanges so if you want to do multiple exchange with cloud code which is your agent and you don't want to just ask one query but you want to keep repeating in a session continuously and you want to maintain the conversation similar to how you chat with the bot then you probably have to use a cloud sdk client and let's look at how we can go about it so this is the cloud sdk client we need to first import cloud sdk client from cloud agent sdk and obviously we got a tool in this case let's say we're just going to greet a user with their name so let's write a tool and decorate it with add tool so that this this function becomes a tool now and we obviously create a mcp server with the tool we just created in this case it's a greet user so tool is the greet user and we just given a name to the mcp server which is my tools and obviously we need to have options where we pass the mcp server we just created and in order to keep the session what we do is we do a context manager with async and we create an object by passing all the options as client and to the client we can pass the query in this case it's greet Alice and if we run that we will see that it will greet Alice by using this greet user function or the tool so result of success duration and the text block as you can see the assistant message is the text block which says hello Alice and it's using the cloud sonnet 4.5 model and the assistant message before that is i'll greet alice using the mcp greet tool so it is using the mcp greet tool and the tool that it is using is the mcp tools greet so that is how you can pass a custom tool to cloud code using the uh, cloud sdk client class so that you keep the session alive and you can interact as many times as you want next comes the idea of hooks so basically if we go back to the agent SDK loop that they have given in their block we can see that it goes through this loop we might have to do something before the stake take action happens for example or we might have to do something after the stake action happens somewhere here or here so we can use hooks in order to execute that exact function so hooks are functions that can get executed before or after these stages so to use the hooks we need to import the hook matcher and we need to write a function that is going to be executed pre or post so we need to define a pre hook or the post hook function before the action actually takes place so let's look into writing that function which is that of check bash command let's say your action is to execute a bash command and you don't want some bad command to be executed for example if the system just runs rm minus r f of star then that's a killer command you don't want that or if it's going to be let's say you have a save file which is a you know my save file dot txt and you don't want this to be deleted 
then you need to prevent the system from running this command. So how do you go about it? We need to check for the input tool. And if the tool name is bash, which is going to execute bash command and the command pattern that we're going to check for is my safe file dot text the file that actually should not be deleted so if that pattern exists in the bash command we are going to iterate and we are going to check for the event before the tool execution so we say pre tool use and the permission is that of deny so we're going to deny that action and the reason that we are giving is command contains invalid pattern and we will probably say this pattern exists which means this file should not be deleted or no action should be performed on this as a bash command of course so how do we pass this hook to the cloud code we are going to be using cloud agent options again so in the option we have the hooks as a parameter so we pass a dictionary and in the pre-tool it can be post tool also but in this case it's a pre-tool use we are going to create a hook matcher object and we're going to say matcher as bash this will exactly match the tool name that is going to be when, whenever you pass matcher equal to bash that will exactly match the tool name and the hook is going to be check bash command so this hook will be executed which is the function check bash command note that this is also async and once we have the option we can straight away pass that option as input to the cloud sdk client when we execute the sdk client so whenever we invoke cloud code that's the hooks so that is all that i wanted to talk about cloud agent sdk for python we saw about installation we saw the quick start and the query and how that works and we quickly saw about the tools and we also saw about cloud sdk client which is a class that helps us keep the sessions and go in a REPL loop and we also saw about hooks which help us interfere the execution pre or post execution of a tool and there is also some error handling that's available and i think this is pretty early for this repository this is going to grow huge and note that it's also under MIT license. So that is all that I wanted to say about Cloud Code SDK today. I will see you in my next video. Until then, take care.